So you know, I want to say, God is like a magician to your understanding. A magician and his acts are what God is to you. Even though God's ways are never hidden, they are to your understanding though. Unless you know what to look for, then the slide of the hands are very visible to your frame of view. Where do you sit in the audience? Again, God is the center of attention to this huge audience. The audience reaches so far that you cannot see the stage in which God is on. But, you know what I mean, right next to you are speakers located where the message is probably being broadcasted out by another individual sitting much closer than you. But before him, there was many broadcasters confusing the message. According to their understanding, their attention span, and individuality, you see, everyone hears and receives that special connection from God, but most everyone does not inch close enough to hear it themselves. Yes, many inch up, they get close to the speaker and believe the speaker to be true. You must go through that sea of listeners all the way to the speaker itself. Never mind the echoes in the audience, nor the lights. You might pass through a small gathering of listeners, all paying attention to a speaker whom paid attention to the echo of the speakers from basically another time and era. You know, if you want to stop, remember those sitting in that small circle next to the other small crowds in the endless sea of listeners, navigate it long enough to give up and call that place home. How great! Do you thirst to be in, in the front row? How great is your thirst to be sitting in front of the orchestrator itself? That is only the questions which I myself and you should be concerned about. How far am I willing to travel, you know, to get to the center? Otherwise, it's a waste of time. The sea of people is great and so are the small circles around it. Blisters, blah, blah.